the Professor Samuel Tweed, archaeologist and explorer. The good professor travels the world, seeking out its mysteries and reporting his findings to the Hibernian Academy of Unnatural Sciences. In our last episode, yes, off we go to the moon. Everyone, act one. Thank you. Now remember that, we'll be chanting that later. Now then, act one. In our last episode, the good Dr. Professor was flying at heterophore unknown altitudes on board his private airship, the Eureka. <laughs> Apparently, next Mr. Barbicane, sorry, I know your hands are full. Apparently he was studying the amazing light shows known as the Aurora Borealis. Ooh. Suddenly, everyone, I need your participation here. We're going to need a mighty storm. So everyone, blow with me. No, 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 no. With your lips. No, wait, wait. With your breath. Everyone. No rain, ladies and gentlemen. Just wind. Suddenly, a powerful storm picked up the Eureka and hurled it in the direction of the Aurora. The good Dr. Professor Tweed struggled to keep control of the fragile airship as it hurled higher and higher up into the atmosphere. Our hero is tossed around the airship cabin. The vehicle spinning, spinning, spinning until suddenly it stops. Volume. Next. Yes. That's all right. Next. Next slide. Everyone. Act two. <laughs> Next slide, please. Luna debris, yes, yes. Bite. <laughs> Apparently they had lasagna on the moon. <laughs> By some great miracle, our hero survived the storm. Except for being a bit nauseous, he landed unscathed. But landed where? The gray soil? The sharp, pointy mountains? The preponderance of craters? The earth in the sky. By Jove, he's on the moon. What a discovery. The Aurora Borealis is a pathway to the moon. But with his airship and most of his supplies destroyed or otherwise strewn about the stage, how will he ever tell his tale to the Hibernian Academy? He's stranded. Oh. Dr. Professor Tweed discovers some leftover monkeys. And the monkey launcher, a pet, don't even at me. And the monkey launcher is apparently still intact. Good show. Dr. Professor Tweed describes his route to the moon in detail. He addresses the letter to the Hibernian Academy and attaches it to the monkey. Get it to relax first. I'm sure this is illegal in about four different countries. <laughs> Everyone, fire! Fire! Oh, wait, 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 wait. Fire in the monkey hole. Especially after that note. Fire in the hole! Oh. Speed, good monkey, send help soon! So, while waiting to be rescued, what's a good adventurer to do? Well, put the monkey gun down. And explore, of course. Explore, explore, explore. Dr. Professor Tweed climbs, climbs over a ridge and discovers a lost ancient volume, an ancient volume. <laughs> ah, not bad. There, there's an ancient civilization. 
An amazing discovery is made. Dr. Professor Tweed finds a golden amulet within this. Inside, he is stunned by a priceless treasure. <gasps> Ooh, very nice. Now I want one. Now then, next, act three. Everyone, act three. Very, very good. Wait for it. Volume. Volume. <laughs> next, next slide, please. <laughs> there it is. Now, days later. <laughs> days later, our hero is in dire straits. He checks his supply bag filled with tissue paper. It's empty. He checks his water canteen. Dry. He checks his gin canteen. One sip left blast. What is a Hibernian to do without his gin? Boom, boom, says, goes a cannon. Ring, ring, goes the bell. What's this commotion? What could this be? Why, it's the Neverwise Hall! The flagship traveling house of the Hibernian Academy! Led by that fearless yet mildly insane major catastrophe, the Neverwise Hall has arrived just in time to rescue Dr. Professor Samuel Tweed. Hurrah! Also on board is the beautiful librarian, Catherine the Great. Overjoyed to see his beautiful bow, Dr. Professor Samuel Tweed greets, gets down on one knee, and he says... Oh, my dearest Catherine, I love thee so. Even though the, my airship is grounded, my heart soars to the sky. Catherine Beckvar, will you marry me? Gentlemen, oh, did it? Oh, you pulled it out. You know, the mute music's gone. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, give them three cheers. Hip hip! Hooray! Hip hip! Hooray! Hip hip! Hooray! Congratulations, you two, and everyone, thank you very much for joining us on these marvelous adventures. Thank you, everyone. <laughs> give a round of applause for our very own chief librarian, Catherine McGrath. Take a bow. <laughs> yes, where's the ring? Down on one knee. Very good. one thing from you. What? You'll handle this man's correspondence from now on. The, the last note I got from him was disgusting.